Good morning guys, a little change of scenery here as we read our chapter in the Bible. Today we're going to be reading chapter 6 and then we'll dive into our day by day devotion. Devotional book for dads. So go ahead, roll that intro. I get to chapter 6 in Genesis here I hope that you guys are following along and if not you can get the same exact Bible in my description below these videos are completely free ad free and you know what if you guys want go ahead and click that red subscribe button and we'll dive in to increasing corruption on earth chapter 6 in Genesis when man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives as many they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh, his day shall be a hundred and twenty years. The nymphile, nymphum, nymphilum were on the earth in those days. And also afterwards, when the sons of God came to the daughters of man, and there they bore children to them, they, oops, these were the mighty men who were of old, the women, or the men of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of Oh, we skipped a page. No, I gotta be careful about that. These pages are thin. So let's go back real quick now. I got this. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blow, blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I, I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah and the flood. This is, this is, I enjoy this. These are generations... These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God. And Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japhethim. Japhethim? Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God, God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make, make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The length of the ark, 300 cubits, its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark, and finish it to a cubic above, The set, and set the door of the ark in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which it breathes which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, your sons' wives with you, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort in the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, 
of every creepy thing of the ground according to its kind. Two of every every sort shall come into to you to keep them alive also take with you every sort of food that is eaten and stored up it shall serve as food for you and for them noah did this he did all that god commanded him and that brings us to chapter seven let's go ahead and dive into our devotional book real quick and yes cohen before we get there do you have something you want to tell them yeah what would you like to tell them you want to show them something what do you want to show them a cartwheel. show them a cartwheel let's see a cartwheel and go we're watching Woo -woo. good job uh oh. All right. So in our day by day devotions for dad book here, you can also I have a link to this also. The prodigal son part two. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, embraced him, and kissed him. Luke fifteen twenty. Uh, new uh, something testament in N L T. Put yourself in your dad's shoes or sandals. <laughs> your youngest son takes half your money and leaves town. You know he doesn't make, a, make good decisions. You know how tough the world is and that he's too young to make it on his own. You know that you know the famine has hit hard. Your boy whom you love so much could very well be dead. Still every day you stand for hours on the edge of your driveway hoping he'll return. You see a figure in the distance. That silhouette coming down the road is skinny and threadbare. Threadbare? But you recognize him instantly and you run to him. Dad, is that how you would react if it happened to you? Maybe the main reason Luke included this parable is to remind fathers to be patient with their children. Dad, there, there's a really good chance that sometime those kids you love so much are going to disappoint you. They may turn their backs on you. They may squander you, squander your hard-earned money or their college fund on wild living. The example of the prodigal's father's father model, models blah, 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 just how vital the example of the prodigal's father models just how vital it is to keep the door open you may need to wait expectingly for years when the prodigal child become begins to take a few steps back towards you you know what to do run to him run to her and get ready to party what about you does your prodigal know they can come home yes. you can't make them but you can let them know they are welcome in your home anytime with open arms and an open refrigerator. <laughs> what do you think about that, Colin? <laughs> open arms and an open refrigerator? Um, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the vid uh, oh, yeah. this video today and reading along in the Bible and I the devotional book, smash that thumbs up colin's gonna do a cartwheel while i ask you guys to please click that red subscribe button and ring that bell and cartwheel time and i can do free let's go one two three woo -woo, four you better click that red subscribe button let Cohen know about his cartwheels down in the comments below we appreciate you guys have a wonderful day and god bless don't let your, and don't let your butter hit you in the nose or in a deep. No, so you don't get a teeth like me because I already got two teeth got out. Yeah, all right. He lost his teeth. His brothers didn't hit those teeth out. Just yeah. for the record, just so we're clear. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.